Happy Saturday Night YouTube, so Ortiz here. I probably upset a lot of people about why solar won't work, but it won't work. I mean, go ahead, hang some more panels, get, run some more batteries. That's, that's what I want, is my house full of batteries. A bunch of acid. No, thank you. Especially if you smoke a cigarette. It's, it's not good to have, you know, fire by a battery. God forbid if you have a fireplace, well, I guess they're, they're not going to allow to do that anymore. Anyway, oh, wow. You got hat head. Anyhow, hopefully I didn't upset too many people. This is like a test video just to see can I upload a video with my new phone, the broken phone, this one here. And believe me, it is broken. Can you see that? It's been dropped, shattered, everything else. But uh, this thing works great. This thing works better than that one, but it is not hooked up to a service. That's the only thing I can think. That's why this one can this one can upload a video, no problem. So I'm just checking, double checking. If this is another two-hour upload. Real quick video about reading lists. <laughs> I said read a book. Why not? This one is called The Truth About the UFO Crash at Roswell. This is a very interesting book. Um, I don't know if you can even get your hands on it. It's by Kevin D. Randall and Donald R. Schmidt, spelled S-C-H-M-I-T-T. -T. What's really neat in here are the pictures, the artist renderings. There were drunk, drunk artists in New Mexico in the desert. No way. Yeah. They were out there, and, and they drew the little aliens. They are hippies, probably. All right. Yeah, this one, Voyage Across the Cosmos. I picked this one up at uh, Borders when they were going out of business. I think it cost like $2. Well, again, the pictures are neat. I'm sure they're airbrushed, and I'm sure you could basically say this is fictional as well. This is by Giles Sparrow. A journey to the edge of time and space. That, that's what I'm all about right there. I want a journey to the edge of time and space. I want a Star Trek future. Um, yeah. So let's talk about this. I, I'm convinced that we do have a secret space program, and why not? I'm throwing ideas all over the place. <clears throat> I am a proud member of Caravan to Midnight. John B. Wells had John Lear on a show. It was only on for an hour. I think he was on there with the guy about the rods from New Mexico, no less. Ah, I can't think of the cat's name. But uh, the, the rods part was cool, too. But in any event, this, this gentleman, is Lou Balden is his name, and John Lear recommended three books. I ran out, got this one. They had to print it special. They didn't have it at the Barnes & Noble, of course. And they said, we'll print you a special edition. I'm like, oh, I'm going to get a special edition. And then um, I, I know through the grapevine that my mom, God bless my mom, I love her so much, she got me the other two books, something about a dragon and something about a day in the life with them. A day in the life with an extraterrestrial. So, and again, these are fictional, but when questioned, you know, John Lear just said, hey, if you want to know about the aliens, you need to read a couple books by my friend, Lou Balden. I say, get them, get them quick. I, I, I read this so quick. Very interesting. And it leads me to secret technology. Come on, guys. Tesla was around over 100 years ago or 100 years ago. Come on, guys. Brew some coffee. Think about it. Now, if you like your little Kindles, whatever, man. You're going to burn your retinas out first off. Second, you don't even know what the hell you You might as well read Wikipedia. Oh, my other little book I picked up. How to Speak Mandarin. I have no idea how. I know I watched a ton of kung fu movies growing up. A ton. I really have hat head today. I'm wearing the cowboy hat. Well, I'm out there in the radiation and the fallout. They could say it's snow, whatever, man. <laughs> that was some freaky snow. I'm just saying, you, you should wear a hat when you go out now. And uh, just, you know, I, I didn't pay much for this one either. It was, you know, a little pocket one, how to speak Mandarin, so. It uses the pinyin.
enunciation, and I'm not I'm not real keen on that. But anyhow, read a book. This is a test video. Let's see, five minutes. I just want to see how long it takes to upload a five-minute video more than anything and share some of my reading material with y'all. And uh, I got I got hundreds of books. I used to have more, but um, what I got, I treasure. So read a book, and and try to get an actual book. Just a suggestion. And if you want to work with your solar panels in the dark, go ahead. What do you think is going to happen if there's a super volcano? You're going to have sunlight. Ooh, that upsets Anna Ailey. <laughs> no super volcanoes, no. So. I hope we don't have that, you know, I hope we don't have one here either. But it is the earth. The earth will do what she wants. Anyway, let's get this grid going. I'm doing a bunch of research on EMP proofing stuff too. Oh, Faraday cages. What about chicken wire? Will chicken wire work? I mean, you see how they do the houses with the plaster, and they throw the, like the wire, and you plaster everything, and then maybe you could put wires in the windows, and somehow, not wires, but chicken wires, you know, something like that, and make a cage up in the attic alongside the roof, or maybe even under the shingles, you could install a Faraday cage on the roof of the house. Just more ideas I'm throwing out there. Have a good one, you guys. Hopefully, I didn't upset anybody about the solar power stuff. Have a good one.